This doesn't make any sense. Well, that's what I just told you. Increase the magnification to a thousand and watch it. Could it be reacting to the dye compound? No chance, objected. Let me see a different one. Same magnification. The report we got doesn't mention this. I've never seen anything like this before. Well, that's a reasonable remark. Cut the crap, Jim. We've got final clearance on this stage of the project. You, me, and, uh... Fielder. Does he know? Oh, yeah. Where is he? He's getting the animals ready. This was. Come on, he's up with you, Frank. Splash down was only yesterday afternoon. First team finished this report, what, three hours ago? They flew it here as fast as they could. Well, it's all in the final report. Yeah. Can you help me here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. I'm just, just a little edgy. It's a long flight, and frankly, I wasn't prepared for what I saw. Yeah, who was? How much more of this substance do we have? Well, there was more, but. After the first report was in, orders were issued to ship most of it to Colorado for underground storage. Near Denver? Are they nuts? Look, we can't control what they do with it. We can only suggest. Orders come from the top. How did they package it? Oh, all necessary precautions were taken. Neutralized emulsion, colloidal suspension. I just hope the altitude doesn't throw the suspension into a crystalloid state. Oh, it's not going by plane. Oh, how's it going? By Pony Express? It's going by rail, unmarked. It's the obvious to consider in this, too, you know. What's that? Publicity. You've been following the news reports on our wonder child? There's been nothing in the media after the preliminary Viking probe. Exactly. The lid's so tight on this, fielders rats would suffocate. Well, that's the reason for the Denver move, I'm sure. First team already figured out some of the basic properties of this stuff. I don't like the implication of the Denver move. It smells of biological warfare. All personnel, bio research now has level five priority. Repeat. Yeah, I don't like it either. Now let's face it, we're not here to make policy even if we'd like to. It's on Earth now. We've got no choice but to deal with it. Now they're sure as hell not gonna send it back to Mars. Next unit, issue diagnostics now who went with it? Ted Sorensen. He was part of the first team. One man. Now, see, they don't want to let anybody get the idea that there's anything important on board that train. I mean, nobody even knows we brought the stuff back. Oh, I see. For reasons of national security, they're sending it to Colorado by way of Alaska. That's close. <laughs> they, they decided to use the northern freight rails as much as possible.
it's still there, Mr. Torrington? Yeah, it is. That's good. I sure wouldn't want nothing to happen to it. Wouldn't look good for the railroad to lose none of its cargo. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't look good at all. I can see the headlines right now. A little flying pigeon swoops down and shits all over the railroad cargo. <laughs> that wouldn't look good at all, Hank. You're absolutely right. Wouldn't look good at all. Say, Mr. Torrance. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe it ain't none of my business, but I tell you, I worked for this railroad for 17 years, and I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Like what, Hank? Hey, you know. Mr. Sorensen, now, I ain't got no sure way of knowing that you ain't a real conductor, but I'm telling you, sir, I'm pretty sure you ain't. You see, sir, I just seen too many conductors in my day, and a real conductor don't go around checking the cargo all the time like you do. No, sir. See, a real conductor, he knows the cargo ain't going nowhere except where trains going. Well, uh, they asked for a periodic check on this cargo back here. That's why the car is last. It's an important shipment. Well, Mr. Torrance, you what's in that car anyway? Now, I don't want you to go tell me it's a baby you're feeding three times a day. They wouldn't ship baby that way anyhow. Dang you me. That's right. I know what it is. It's money. They're shipping the car a load of money to be burned. They, they do that sometimes. Yeah, that's what they're doing. That's right, Hank. It's money. That's exactly what it is. And I'll tell you something else, Hank. This perpetual motion is getting there. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> yes, sir. I told you you wasn't no real conductor, and you just proved it. Proved what? You never hear no real conductor use no words like that. Words like what, tired? What, is there some special railroad lingo for tired? Yeah. I'm talking about that word, perpectile motion. Thanks, I'll remember that. Mr. Sorensen, be careful you don't roll over on that loaded gun you're carrying. Well, I seen it. <laughs> yeah, you see, sir, that's how come I started figuring you wasn't a real conductor. <laughs> real conductor ain't allowed to carry no loaded weapon. That's right, Hank. Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot you unless you don't shut up. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It better not be no explosives or nothing like that. There's a law again having explosives in the car if you don't mark them danger. You gotta do that so the employee knows what it is. That's right, Hank. It's not explosives either. Dang it, I'm sorry, Mr. Sorensen. Just that I, I ain't never been no good about secrets. Oh, no, 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 I keep it. No, 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 I keep them good. It's, uh, it's when other people's keeping them, I just, well, it gets to me, and, you know? Hey, I told you. I don't know what's in those boxes back there. Boxes? How many boxes? Ten. There's ten boxes back there, Hank. Hey, ten boxes.
Chandler try it again with the lower organism? I sure did. He even stuck around to watch the whole gruesome process. And? Not a live one left. How many? Three. Same thing every time. How long? Let's see. From contact time, we clocked it at an average of two minutes, 37 seconds. And the rats? Any sign of anything? Nothing. You know, the expression is becoming a little overused lately, but none of this makes any sense. We know we're dealing with a disease organism. All the characteristics are there. It has some of the qualities of an enzyme and some of a virus. Yet the rate of destruction is too fast. <laughs> fast? That's an understatement. And we know it's spread by contact contamination. How did those airborne experiments turn out? Doesn't travel in the air, and it's not carried through the bloodstream. That's the part that bothers me. Those rats bother me. Damn, they're wide awake, having a great time. No loss of motor coordination, no disorientation. You know, Jim, we just may have come up with a perfect pesticide. Mother's little helper and God's gift to the farmer. Yeah, and I was into the crap. <laughs> Morning, Charlie. Hey, Evan. Never fails. He can't wait till I get here. Oh, Charlie, there's a train coming in this morning at 925. Split up here. Part of it will stay here waiting for another engine to pick it up. Oh, yeah. Just brewed a fresh pot.
Hank, thanks for waking me up. Sorry, Mr. Sorensen. No. I, I'm just waiting for God, that's all. Well, look, Hank, we're gonna be in Moose Point in 20 minutes. We're supposed to meet another engine, so get us uncoupled as quick as you can, okay? Sure will, Mr. Sorensen. I sure will. Oh, uh, say, Mr. Sorensen, uh, about what's in that boxcar. Oh, Hank. And no, 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 sir. What I was gonna tell you is I just ain't gonna ask you no more questions about it. Just no more talk. What do I owe that pleasure to, Hank? Well, I'll tell you, sir, while well, you sleep in there last night, I got to thinking, and, uh, well, yeah, I'll tell you, sir, the way I figured is you already told me too much about, uh, them, them ten boxes, and, uh, I wouldn't want to see you get in trouble with the railroad, so I think from now on, uh, maybe you better just make up your mind be just like me and, uh, keep your mouth shut. So, say, we're gonna... Run into some good-looking country up here. <laughs> yeah, some good-looking people. Used to be some good-looking ladies there, you know, when I was younger. I was quite a young skate then. I remember this is one old guy. Dr. Rogers come in yet? Yes, sir. He came in about an hour ago. Mr. Mason, enzyme replacement immediately. I want to check on waltzing Matilda. Last night, she and I developed this, mm, let's say, this fond attachment for one another. <laughs> if she had any sense, she'd be fast asleep by now. All right. I wonder if she ever ran those mazes. You know, I always fall for the intellectual type. What the hell happened here? Chance to have breakfast. Oh, uh, how about a donut? The coffee's fresh. Oh, sounds good. You got those reports ready for me, Charlie? Oh, yeah, I got them all ready. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, good. Not too many this week. Oh, before I forget, Charlie, I'm leaving at noon today. I've already cleared it with the main office. Don't worry, though. I'll get the books in order first. Good morning, you two. How's every little thing this morning? Jimmy? Well, if it isn't the Beau Brummel of the rail set, I'm just fine, Jack. And how are you? Or need I ask? Ah, Jenny. Sweet Jenny. Pride is be so dull without you around here. Uh, no insult intended, Charlie. Right. Didn't figure that. I can see my wit and charm don't carry much weight with Charlie here. With Charlie? You're trying to tell me something, my pet. I can tell. Okay, look, let's change the subject, Jack. What brings you here so early? I don't usually get to see your bright, shining face until afternoon. I would have missed you today. I'm leaving at noon. Well, you're trying to tell me something else. Sorry I meant you. Well, to answer your question, you did want an answer, didn't you? There's a train coming in any minute. It's going to be split up here. They asked me to check the rails, make sure there weren't any hang-ups. Something a little peculiar there. Another engine's coming in at 9.45 to pick up one boxcar in the caboose. Where's it going? I know. I just checked the switch 10 miles up the track. Looks like they're forking up into North Dakota. Regular load always goes south. Ain't that right, Charlie? 
Hey, you know what he's carrying, Charlie? Nope. Well, I'll be back a little while for some coffee. Business before pleasure. Take your time, Jack. How you doing? Well, <laughs> same old Charlie. <laughs> Just can't teach an old dog new tricks there, can you, Charlie? <laughs> hey, what did you do to your hand? Oh, uh, cut it on a piece of glass. Uh, Charlie, you got a Band-Aid around here? Yeah, right here. Here, let me fix it for you. Oh, that'd be awful nice of you, Miss Jenny. Okay, we'll just put a Band-Aid right on that. Oh, uh, I don't think it's too bad. What happened to you? You're on solid ground for five minutes and you're hurt already? Oh, it ain't much. What happened to you, Hank? He just cut himself on a piece of glass. It's not serious. It ain't nothing, Mr. Sorens, you're not honest. Uh, Mr. Sorensen, uh, I'd like to have you meet these nice people here. Uh, this is, uh... I'll be right back. What's his problem? Why are you so concerned about what other people are doing? God, you're as bad as everybody else around here. What's he doing out there? He's opening the boxcar. What does it look like? Well, thanks, Jen, for that bit of information. It's a razor blade you got there, Charlie. Code 417, operator 5, please. Thank you. Operator, gamma code 37984. Alpha 795. Red code 59. Location, 3085. Time code, 734. Okay. How many people are there? Do they have contact? Well, you know what to do. We'll seal off the area. No, don't expect the engine. It'll be canceled. And remember, you've got a gun. Use it if you have to. We've got too much at stake. You answer the phone. We'll make arrangements for incoming calls only. Okay, thank you. Whose Oldsmobile is that outside? Mine. May I have the key to it, please? What do you want his key for? May I have the key, please? Hey, hang on to that key, Charlie. Look, I don't know who you are, but I do know this. No stranger comes in here makes a call that sounds like a direct dial to Mars and asks for and expects to get Charlie's car key. What's going on? All right, we'll do it your way. 
My name's Ted Sorensen. I'm a biochemist. We've got a problem here. Let me have your key, please. Hang on to that damn key, Charlie, until this guy starts making some sense. What's a biochemist doing in Moose Point? Mister? Tiller. Jack Tiller. All right, Mr. Tiller, we've got a problem. You damn straight we do. I want some answers. Yeah. He's got a gun. That's so. That's so. And I know how to use it. I'd rather not. I'd like that key now. Now maybe you'll tell us what's happened. Fair enough. Gonna have to know anyway. The cargo in that boxcar out there. Oh, wait a minute. I know what's in that boxcar out there. They, they're just a bunch of little bottles of medicine. Ain't nobody gonna die just because I broke two or three little tiny bottles. Are they, Mr. Sorensen? I hope not, Andy. What kind of medicine is this? It's a shipment of a relatively unknown, potentially dangerous substance. I don't understand. Well, unfortunately, there's not much to understand at this moment, except that we've all been, let's call it, quarantined. Quarantine? That, that means that we're all sick. It, Nobody can come near us or else they're gonna get it too, don't it? That's a good enough explanation for now. Let's say that precautions have to be taken because of the nature of the substance. Well, how long do we have to stay here? I don't know that yet. Ah, it sounds like a lot of double talk to me. I got work to do, I'm getting out of here. Jack, take it easy. What the lady says makes a lot of sense. There's no need to go into a state of panic over this. Let's just stay calm and take this one step at a time. Now, first of all, it's important that nobody touch anybody until we establish what's already happened here. Who bandaged Tank's hand? I did. Why? What does it do? Well, just stay calm. Stay calm? <laughs> what do you mean, stay calm? You come in here, scare us half to death, and then tell us to stay calm. What are we supposed to do, forget it? It's not going to do any good to get nervous. What's your name? Jenny. Jennifer Moore. You work here? No, I just happened to be in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by. Relax. We're all in this together. Yes, I work here. I've come in on Fridays to do the books. What about you? What about me? I'll get there. Hello? Oh, he's busy right now. Can I take a message for him? Okay. All right, fine. I'll tell him. Thank you. That was a notification that the engine coming to pick us up has been rerouted. All right, did you have any contact with Hank today? Yeah, we shook hands when he came in. What about you? What's your name? Charles Weigel. Do you have any contact with Hank today? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, you did, Charlie. I rumpled up your hair when I come in. I always like to kid old Charlie. You know, we go back such a long way. OK, look, everybody just sit tight. I've got to make a phone call. Operator, we have area code 417. Operator 5, please. It's a bunch of shit. Operator, this is gamma code 37984, alpha 795. Tell her! Tell her. I don't want to use.
use this. <laughs> you ain't got the guts. What the hell happened? Is he alive? Give me that name again. What about the others? Give me their names and status. How did that shipment get damaged? We've checked with the lab. Contact is strictly through epidermal tissue. It doesn't transmit through inorganic matter. At least that solves part of our problem. Did you find out who's touched who? Let's have it. What about you? I don't know. No, I said I don't know. Well, it's possible, but I'm not sure. We'll have to assume you had contact. Now look, we're working on a direct line through. No one but you uses the phone. We can't take any chances. We don't know how long it'll be, but we can't release anyone to a hospital until we know the exact extent of damage from this stuff. We don't know what effect it will have on higher organisms. They're working on that. All right. Well? We wait. What's the reading on the hematology printout? No perceptible change in white count. Platelets slightly elongated, but all indications are it occurred after death. That's crazy. Well, so is what happened to the rats. What could have caused that kind of brain swelling? Well, no blood rush to the brain, which further convinces me it has nothing to do with the circulatory system. Pressure had to be extreme to cause that kind of skull fracture. You realize how impossible that is? I know, Jim. But what you've got to remember is that we're not dealing with something ordinary here. What bothers me is that we ship that stuff out before we knew anything about it. I'm going to stoke up a fire in the waiting room. Get the chill out of here. Is that all right with you? Look, uh... I've been afraid to ask this, but I'd feel a lot better if I knew. Now, I understand that we came into contact with something. But is anything supposed to happen? I don't feel any different. It's like I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for something to happen to me, only I don't know what it is. I'm starting to imagine all sorts of things. Getting peculiar pains and... And I keep looking at my hands, waiting for them to turn blue or fall off or something. Only nothing's happening. Now, what did you mean when you called that stuff that Hank got into potentially dangerous? There's not much I can tell you right now. Listen, Sorensen. When somebody cuts off my civil rights the way you have, shoots me, keeps me locked up a prisoner here, I don't want to listen to that bullshit. I want to be told what's really going on. Now, I've heard enough of your freak phone calls, your gamma alpha crap, to know that there's more to this than what you're telling us. Yeah, I'd like to tell you more, but I, I just can't say anything except my orders are to keep us here. Orders from who? My superiors. Oh, your superiors. That's fancy. Also, it doesn't say one whole hell of a lot. How long are we supposed to stay here? A day? Five days? A year? Look, the only time I stay in one spot this long is when I'm in bed with a chick or when I'm just sleeping. 
Well, I can tell you this. The material in that boxcar out there is a microorganism that we've been experimenting with. There's still a lot of unanswered questions about it. They decided to ship it to a more secure location. We're just going to have to stay here until they determine that it's safe for us to leave. What do you mean, Mr. Johnson? I, I, I mean, what, 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 what is this stuff? What, what do you want well, to that's do? the problem, Hank. Nobody really knows. Who invented it? Nobody invented it. It's a living organism. You mean like a germ? Sort of a virus, you can call it that. Mr. Sorensen, just how sick are we gonna get? I don't know, Harry. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I think you do. I think we're gonna get awful sick. I'll tell you something else, I don't think there's no cure for it, neither. Otherwise, they wouldn't quarantine us out here in the middle of nowhere. No, sir. No, sir. They, they'd put us in a hospital or something now, wouldn't they? I don't know, Hank. It's all my fault. Everybody's gonna die. I'm sorry, Danny. And then for my medley, none of this will happen. Mr. Sorensen? I just thought of something. I'm the only one we know has really got it. I, I mean, I'm the only one we know has really got the stuff inside his skin. Maybe these other people ain't caught it from me yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm the only one that you know really got it. Maybe, maybe none of you got it from me. I, I, I'm the only one that we, we know is really got it. Uh, I'm the only... Quit, will you tell her? What happened to Hank? He'll be back. How do you know? I wouldn't if I got that far. Well, I shot him in the leg. He can't get far. Yeah, who's gonna stop him? The National Guard. The what? You heard me. What is this? A crack shot biochemist, now the National Guard. All this over some virus? Don't kid me. Why don't you level with us, Sorensen? You know more than what you're telling. Don't overreact. Who the hell are you, anyway? I told you I work for the government. Oh, 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 that's great. The goddamn bastards are at it again. I take a job all the way out here in the backwoods to get away from all that crap. Now I'm surrounded by it again. I don't believe this. Well, believe it, Teller. Why don't you cooperate for a change? We've got enough problems without you. Come on, let's go inside. I've got to make a call. 
What about him? Alert Moose Point that a Hank Willis got away. He's not to get through under any circumstances, no matter what. Shoot to kill if necessary, but leave that body alone. Yes, sir. Now listen. Don't let anyone else get away. The lab hasn't come up with anything yet. We'll call you. Did you get through? Yes, sir. I sent in your order in your exact words. Good. Now get Farrell at Bio Research. I better clue him in. He may be able to come up with something fast. decisions. That's the trouble with this system. That stuff should have never left here. Oh, but who knew it would be this bad? That's just the point. Nothing should have been done till all the information was in. Frank, I'm sure they didn't anticipate this. It sounded like a really freak happening. Freak happening? <laughs> with material like this, every possibility has to be anticipated. Everything. When I hear things like this, I'm amazed that anybody in the world is alive. We're the only ones that have this stuff. Comforting thought, Jim. Now we have a bigger problem than we had before. Now we've got to come up with a counteragent. Counteragent? We don't even know why it does what it did to those rats. Did you tell them what happened? I told them that the effect on the rats was fatal, that a time factor was involved. I think I managed to be effectively evasive about exactly how long and why. Did you tell him how? No. I thought we'd wait to break that information when we know exactly what triggers it. Tanks, are you nuts? For five people? Forget it. Sloan. <laughs> Aye, we were all salute, but then who remembers? We walked outside in that cold air and it hit us in the face and wham! The next thing I remember was waking up in the back room over at Sally's place. That was the next afternoon. Is Sally mine? <laughs> Sally mine? <laughs> who knows what Sally was doing all that time? <laughs> hey, Jen. What's this 
Tom Sheffield gonna think when you don't show up for your date? I figure I changed my mind. What's he supposed to think? Well, I know what I'd think. Well, that's you, Jack. Not everyone has your kind of mind. I already told you, I've only been out with him twice. He's a nice, shy type. Quiet, but interesting. Mm, well, he can't be too shy if you ask you out for a weekend rendezvous after only two dates. What is your problem, Jack? Not everyone's the same as you. Wise up, Jimmy. When a guy asks a gal out for a whole weekend, he just got one thing on his mind. I'd like to think some men are different. You'll learn. I believe I already have. And it's not what you think. We'll see. Hey, Charlie. What about you? You're so quiet over there, I have to keep looking at you to remember that you're here. What? Well, Charlie, my man. You must do something besides keep minnows in your cellar. I mean, you're unattached. There's more than one kind of fishing. Well, I suppose that's right. Hmm? What do you do for fun? Go fishing. <laughs> Besides that? Mm, not much, I guess. I relax. And I've got my job here. I can't complain too much. Well, Jesus, Charlie, you're not dead yet. There must be something you do for excitement. Not really. Oh, I play cards once in a while. Gee, it's getting chilly here. It's the spring. Why don't you leave him alone, Jack? Well, Sorensen, you ready yet? Tell us how you happen to be such a crack shot. I didn't know I was keeping it from you. What, are you writing a book? Yeah. Why don't you leave that chapter out? I don't think I'd come up to your expectations anyway. I'd like to hear about it. I don't feel like talking right now. Sounds like you're gonna have to. Or right, while you're at it, tell them I'm starving. I want a steak, medium rare, and baked potato. About a couple of hamburgers and order of fries will do in a pinch. What's the matter with you? He hasn't done anything to you. Why do you keep picking on everybody? I'm just getting damn sick and tired of sitting around here doing nothing. I want to get out of here. Relax. Have a drink, something to eat. Is there anything wrong with that? Not really. I'm not enjoying this any more than you are. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You just don't give up, do you? now and we have to stay awake. Stay awake? For what? But forgot, no, I forgot I asked that question. Uh, nothing surprises me. That doesn't surprise me. We gotta stay cooped up here in these luxurious accommodations for God only knows how long. No phone calls, star, piss in the wastebasket, now stay awake. Sure, anything you want. Well, while we're at it, maybe we can straighten out the country's foreign policy. Solve the problem of big city crimes or anything else that they'd God like us to do? It, Jack, shut up. We can't fall asleep. If we do, we die. Die. Die? I don't get it. I'm not sure I can explain it. God damn it, man. I put up with your evasive bullshit so far, but this is where it ends. Now, you either tell us what's happening or I'm going to get on your stinking hotline and find out for myself. 
The organism that we've come into contact with, it, it attacks the central nervous system. An unconscious state activates it. It's like I said before. If we sleep, we die. I, I don't understand. What's different about sleep? Respiration is different. The body temperature is lower. There are a lot of things that are different. Where'd they find this shit? It's classified information. You're a real dumb dumb, you know that? This stuff's gonna get you too. They got you into this and you're still gonna keep their secrets. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna give up as easily as you. We're not dead yet, you know. Might as well be. We can't stay awake forever. The research lab's working 24 hours a day around the clock to come up with a counter agent. You make it sound so easy. We can do it. All we have to have is a plan. It's hopeless. We'll never be able to stay awake long enough. It's not hopeless, Jenny. They could come up with something in an hour. Hot chance of that. They're sending food and... Well, we haven't eaten anything today. That'll keep us awake longer. It, and they're sending some amphetamines. What? It's a drug that activates the system. It'll help you stay awake longer. Speed. You can always count on Uncle Sam. How long can a person stay awake? That depends on the person. Other factors involved, drugs, there's a psychological factor, a number of different things. We've got to help each other, we've got to watch each other, stay awake, uh, play games. There are magazines in here we can read out loud. Coffee, lots of coffee. Ah, you sound like a tour director on a cruise. Charlie said he liked to play cards. You got some cards, Charlie? I've got some in my overnight case in the car. Get them. <laughs> cards? <laughs> is that what, uh, is that what you and, uh, what's his name we're gonna do over the weekend? <laughs> country long enough to know that. Jack, you're scaring me. Come on, we've got too many other things to worry about. Want to play some cards, Charlie? Sure, Mr. Sorensen. That wasn't a wild animal out there. You're not tired now. Let's just... Let's play. Charlie, it's your bet. Oh, sorry. Quarter. That. Quarter. There isn't much coffee left. What do you got? Oh, thank you. I can't take this anymore. Yeah, that's it for me, too. Thanks for the change.
supplies. Now they're thinking about us. But they're thinking about a lot more than just us. Thought the Surgeon General decided these could be hazardous to your health. I guess they figured that what they got us into is even more hazardous, huh? Jack, please, I'm trying not to think about it. All right, all right. No cocoa? What's that? Amphetamines. Where's the food? You're looking at it. Oh, no, not this stuff in these plastic tubes. You gotta be kidding. Don't they have things a little bit mixed up? I mean, we're not exactly part of the space program. It works, satisfies the nutritional requirement and doesn't fill the body with bulk. What are these things for? Dirty dishes? That's so you don't have to complain about the wastebasket. Oh, well, wonders never cease. Is this part of the space program, too? It's a serious consideration. Once the organism gets into the body, we don't know what it does. We just can't take a chance on contaminating the water table with cesspool seepage. Oh, please don't talk about it. It makes me feel like something crawling around in my body. <laughs> Got to be realistic, Jenny. I mean, we can't leave a problem bigger than we had once we leave this place. It's another thing. Don't even spit outside. Use those plastic bags. Well, speaking of plastic bags, plastic bags will never look the same again. Yes? Yes, everyone's still here. I've just checked in with the lab. Still nothing. Just hang on. Do the best you can. They're working in ships around the clock. I'm going to change my clothes. What? I'm going to change my clothes. Do you mind? Make it fast. I don't want to have to check on you. She'll love that. It's time we took some amphetamines. Just take it with coffee. It'll take effect quicker. Thank you. 
forgot that was there. I, I don't even know if it works. Yeah, this is the only way to... Hey, I don't believe it. There's a world out there. All prices up in Kansas City. There was something on the news about all this. Don't count on it. National Guard out there and all your phone calls, we're probably famous for now. Not bad, baby. Not bad at all. Tom would have liked that. Here, take this. You ain't gonna hear anything. Well, I shouldn't be surprised about that. I've been through this before. When? I told you, baby. I haven't spent all my life back here in these backwoods. I realize that. But when could you have been through anything like this before? I don't mean anything like this, exactly. Christ, who could imagine this? I'm talking about news blackouts. Yeah, I was in the Navy. Down in Guantanamo in 62. But you might be a little young to remember that. Probably. Uncle Sam doesn't tell it all, honey. You can bet on that. There's a lot of stuff that went down in Cuba that nobody ever got to hear about. Hey, Charlie, you ever see any action? Which one, number two? Yeah, I bet there was a lot went down in that one, too, that nobody heard about. Christ, didn't even have decent coverage then. A lot of stuff went on that nobody knows about. Warm up, sports fan. Here's that working man. Christ, let's liven this party up a little bit. Bet we don't have a couple more chicks around here. Hate to see you two guys just sitting around twiddling your thumbs. You're taking a lot for granted. You bet your sweet ass I am. Don't count on it. What's the matter, baby? You saving yourself, Tom Sheffield? That's a joke. You don't even know him. I've got more sense than to go out with anyone from around here. I don't need to know him. You don't know me either. No, but I'd like to. I'm not one of your usual broads. I never said you were. As a matter of fact, Jen, that's what I like about you. You got more class. Thank you. You know, what I need right now is a drink. Every good party needs some booze. Hey, I bet Hank had some stashed out in that caboose of his. That's not a good idea. Stick to the amphetamines. I got an idea. Why don't you let Jack Tiller take care of himself? He's been doing it now for 38 years. Got a real good handle on it.
What I tell you? Anybody want some? Charlie? Good stuff. idea that we keep busy, keep moving around. Don't look at me like I've gone crazy. I'm trying to stay alive. Come on, Jenny, let's dance. You're probably right. Baby, you're stiff as a board. How's that EEG printout? No change in the polarity of the cells. Did you try the CH compound? Yes. There was no change in the molecular structure either. There must be something that'll cause a breakdown. There is. A laser experiment. Yeah. A bit too destructive for our purposes, wouldn't you say? Besides, a uh, substance doesn't collect in a single mass like a tumor. It, it seems to favor the spinal column. Now, if we bombard that with a laser, forget it. I don't want to think about it. We gotta find a substance that the human organism can tolerate. Something that has direct affinity and the ability to neutralize when the alpha rhythms fade out. you get up and dance. You just can't sit here all night and watch. I'm not much of a dancer. I'll teach you. Maybe later. I think he's waiting for you now. Okay. If that's the way you want it. say I'm afraid of getting tired I promise you won't get tired come on let's get out of here 
Where can we go? I won't let us go anywhere. Uh, Sorensen. Uh, me and Jenny go. Take a little walk. Get some fresh air. I don't think that's too wise. You two had a little too much exercise already. Stick it. Where are you going? Um, I need some fresh air. You think we'll make it? I think we will. The guys working on this project are the top men in the field. If anybody can solve the problem, they can. <laughs> I sure never expected anything like this would happen in my life. None of us did. Are you feeling all right, Charlie? Oh, sure, sure. I'm fine, fine. Oh, excuse me. I, I have to go to the John. Charlie. He's in the John. Hurry up, Charlie. There's a line forming out here. Any calls while we were gone? No. Hey, hurry it up in there, man. If you're gonna be much longer in there, throw out one of those plastic bags, will you? Hey, if I wasn't so worried about our environment, I'd have taken care of it outside. <laughs> <laughs> ¶¶ 
They'd hurry and call. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I'm sure they will soon. Anything more hiding in here we can fool around with? Mm, not that I know of. Charlie, you've been holding out on us. <laughs> Thought you said you didn't do anything for excitement. Now, this looks pretty exciting to me. Mm, they're not mine. I, I don't know how long they've been there. Not too long. This one's only two months old. They must belong to Elvin. Come on now, Charlie. You can tell me. Among friends. You mean to tell me you never even take a peek? Oh, once in a while, maybe. Uh, but they don't belong to me. Why don't you leave him alone, Jack? You make it sound like he's done something wrong. You probably have your walls plastered with them. I don't need to, Donna. Besides, I never said anything wrong with it. Just surprised me, that's all. Hey, Charlie. You see this, babe? Mm -hmm. Now, come on, Charlie. I bet you got some stories that'd fry my ears. Not too many. How about your younger days? I got a few from long ago. I don't know. Well, let's hear them. I need a little excitement. Oh, don't worry about her. She's busy. There's nothing much, really. I remember in 62 down in Gitmo Bay. Crazy things went on down there. We'd been on board ship about, about three months, as I remember. A bunch of guys on one ship cooped up that long. You get awful hungry for a lot of things. Especially a piece of ass. I keep on thinking about those five people. Don't. Their job is to stay awake. God. The shock to the system must be unbearable. I wonder if it does the same thing in its own environment. Don't worry about that. It's here, not there. Look, if we can simulate the Martian environment based on the data brought back, maybe we can figure out what makes this baby tick. If so, maybe we can discover that it's static in its own environment. At least we'll know what it does. Let's give it a try. I hope those people can stay awake. I hate to think what they'll go through if they fall asleep. What about Tom? What about Jack? <laughs> you know, I don't care about Jack. That just happened. I wanted to dance with you. I don't think so. I did. No, I, I don't mean that. Well, what do you mean? I mean, I just didn't want to dance. No. 
What you're saying is you didn't want to dance with me. Jenny, you're working yourself up over nothing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, you two having a lover's quarrel over there? Not hardly, pal. Look at his head. It's expanding. What in God's name is happening to him? Why didn't they tell me it was going to be this way? Jesus! God, what's wrong with him? God, stop it! was a Tom Sheffield. There never was anyone. We weren't in this together. We were alone. I don't want to be alone anymore. Yeah! I know it's a tough decision. But it'll have to be made. We've got national security to worry about. I can't get hung up on five people. I don't like it either. If there were any hope, I'd agree with you. Just send out the order to notify next of kin. Use the story we talked about. I'll take care of the rest. No, don't notify the center. Let them go on working. We need a counter-agent anyway, now that we know how bad the stuff really is. Call me when it's taken care of. Right.
helicopter. Timing's a bit off, ain't it? We made it! Infected. I'm alive. <laughs> 